The time length of a step in a published simulation is defined by the length of the step audio and the wait time defined in the step properties. In this example, each step has one and a half seconds of wait time. To review and update the step timing for a particular step, navigate to the simulation editor. And double click on a step. This opens the step properties window. On the left hand side, click auto playback. In the auto playback properties, the time length field displays the default wait time for the step before moving to the next step. This default value is configured by the UPerform administrator in the template. If you find that the time length in the published simulation is too long or too short, you can change the length. Keep in mind, if there is audio, the audio length will be added to the published simulation and the time length of the step will be adjusted accordingly. If you do not have audio, it is recommended you increase the wait time if you added notes to the step to ensure end users have enough time to read the notes and the step text. To update the time length, deselect Use Default Time Length and enter a new value. Once you have updated the time length, click OK to save and exit the step properties. Repeat this process for additional steps as needed. If you would like to view the updated time lengths, use the preview simulation option to view your simulation.